time to talk about camping. Because it's arranged like a donut, you'll be close to some things and not others. That means that if you're up to a bit of walking, you should be fine, but otherwise you might want to position yourself where you're close to the things that you need to be close to. That said, if you want to be near the main pyramid stage, I can recommend Big Ground, Kidney Mead or Row Mead. To be near Arcadia and the southeast corner, then Pennard Hill is always popular for that. And it's also the one that flooded in 2005. Never forget. If you want quiet, look for places around Bushy Ground, Pylon Ground, Wicket Ground and Hitchin Hill Ground. And for the other stage, it's Oxylas. Something to understand is how much time it takes to get around site. To go from one end to the other can easily take you 30 to 45 minutes, especially at busy times. Here's a chart showing how long it takes to walk from one stage to the other. And for reference, here's Glastonbury laid on top of central London. Everyone gets camping included in their five day ticket. But if you want to have your pick of the spots or get loads of tents together, what a lot of people do is drive down on Tuesday night and wait in the queue ready for Wednesday opening. Buy a bottle of fabric conditioner, large. Buy a tent and double the capacity for the number of people you're taking. So if there's two of you, take a four man tent. If there's three of you, take a six man at least. And avoid anything that uses the words pop up. Trust me, it's not worth it. Take something to sleep on. I like an inflatable bed. Others like rolling mats. Don't just take nothing. It's the good old camping chair. Take one with you that's going to last a few years. You'll want a sleeping bag. I would take something big and flat like this and not the claustrophobic nightmare, which is this. Take a trolley if you're taking a lot of stuff. Take one with four wheels and not two and nothing that's under 100 quid. It'll just break on the way in. Don't buy anything that has wheels smaller than this. Number nine. You can take your own food and drink wherever you want as long as it's not in glass. So probably some of this kind of stuff. Camping clothes and accessories. You're going to be there for what might be about six days and you also need to be able to dress for all four seasons every day of that. Now is a good opportunity to buy things like lanterns and any stoves or other accessories that you might want to take as well. Oh, and bring wellies every single year. Because you are going to be there for about six days, it's time to make your annual trip to the parent and baby aisle for a pack of these. So here's a map of Glastonbury with one car park and a load of campsites to the east and one car park and a load of campsites to the west. Now there's no two ways around this. The walk from the car park to the campsite can be long, treacherous, exhausting, and it could take you anything from 20 minutes to 45 minutes, an hour, if you're really weighed down, who knows. So what a lot of people do, me included, is take a four-wheel trolley to make the load a little bit easier. There's this one which will fit in most cars and will suit most people and it's rated for 350 kilograms. And this one, the Big Daddy, which is rated for 600 kilograms. If you're going to Glastonbury Festival, here are 50 things to get and pack now. This first one's called an S-hook. What this is great for is if you go to a dirty music festival and you need to use the toilet, what you do is you take one of these and you hang it on the back of the toilet door. What this lets you do is hang up your coats and bags and not have to put them on the floor. Next one is an emergency phone charger. Having tried a number of them, I absolutely love this one. It has a really high capacity, it's lasted years and years, and it's relatively affordable. Next up is a collapsible water bottle. You can fill these full of water and then just take from it throughout the week. Electric airbed pump and an airbed. Tent peg mallet with a hook on the end. The reason you want one of these, you don't want to be pressing the pegs in with your feet, it'll just bend them, and the hook lets you take them out at the end of the weekend. So if you are heading to a music festival this year, don't wait to get started on buying these things. If you're going to Glastonbury Festival this year, you'll probably want to have a shower. Here are five ways of doing exactly that, and some of them are free and won't involve queuing. The first option is the naked sauna and campfire at the Lost Horizons. They have paid access and the showers there, like everything, are communal. Next is the Greenpeace area which has free single gender communal showers. Now this one gets busy, the worst time to go is in the morning or early evening but the very best time to go, I found, is just after lunch and these are completely free to use. Remember if you're going glamping then you'll probably have showers included there. Also free and available to festival goers of any age are the single cubicle showers at the kids field and these also get quite busy. But there is one more option, one which is free for you to use all week and doesn't involve any queuing. One is by taking this solar powered shower which is surprisingly cheap. 
and the other is taking this USB powered shower, which isn't a lot more. Seven types of toilets at Glastonbury you need to know about. First of all, it's the backstage toilet. Modern, well lit, needs to be more accessible. The compost toilet. Quiet, well lit and surprisingly clean. A hidden gem. External campsite toilets. Spacious, clean and with enormous loo rolls. 10 out of 10. Next it's the escape room portaloo. Quirky and fun but with terrible plumbing. And next it's the big dog, the slam shut, or as it's known to most Glastonbury goers, the long drops. Offering an al fresco toilet experience, they're cold, messy and absolutely covered in sh**. And finally, don't let the chaps have all the fun with the female urinal. Did you use it? Let me know what you thought of it in the comments.